All right, it's now time for Interactive. Remember, you can catch premium sporting content by downloading the Sportsmax app from the Google Play or the App Store. We'll start by taking reactions to some of the standout performances from Saturday's Racers Grand Prix at the National Stadium in Kingston, Jamaica. Let's start with Julian Alfred. She's going to cause serious problems in Paris. <sighs> stress, that name. Stress says, yes, Julian, looking like you'll be the one to secure the podium for the Caribbean. Rashida. I saw this and got so excited. Oh my God, Paris, I go hot. Hey Nakala, I'm a huge Alfred fan. Small island islanders doing big things, rooting for a big medal this summer. Daily Dose, keep saying this is my favorite new athlete on the circuit, legit, and she is consistently a threat. Well, I mean, I agree with everybody. Mm. She's a threat. She is a threat. Let's not forget, for a long time, she said that she didn't like the 200 meters and she <laughs> yeah. finished fourth at the World Championships last year. Mm -hmm. This season, she ran 22.16 indoors for 200 meters. She's not only going to be a threat at 100 meters, what? she'll also be a threat in the half lap event as well. Yeah, and the last OECS sprinter to attain global respect would have been Kim Collins from St. Kitts and Nevis. So mm. uh, the St. Lucian Julian Alfred here Good is... Good stuff. Yeah, really, really proud, proud of her. You know what's interesting, Lance? Kim Collins won a global medal at 200 meters yes. before he won a medal at 100 meters. And a lot of people forget that because that was he won 2001. bronze in 2001. That's right. Um, <laughs> in a race won by Costas Kenteris, where yeah. the seven other men were in a line behind yeah. him. Was it a dead heat for third? Yes, it was. It was a, and they could barely separate Chris Williams right. for second that, as well. That's right. I remember that was a, that was a classic. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then he won the 100 in 2003. There you go. Okay, mm -hmm. another classic one to Jaden Hibbert. Let's go. Chrissy says, big deal, big fries, coleslaw, and a biscuit. <laughs> mm, I'm hungry. <laughs> Rhoda Moy Crawford, massive achievement. Proud is an understatement. Big congrats to our wonder kid. C.A. Clark, a big deal. <laughs> yeah. Kadeem, one hibby. Kingston 20, Obia man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we get these names from. Another star is born. And I must read this with a straight face, right? This one is for Oblique Seville. Trip says, finally, we got a new world lead. Jolene, it's going to be a great Olympics. Come through, oblique. Sean, season opener, big run. The notorious YGL, know the name, hail the man. Chan, Olympic start now? <laughs> <laughs> it feels like that, though. Can I mm. admit? Yeah. I, it feels like that, Ricardo. It feels like, you know, we're getting into... The buzz. This is a pre Feeling the buzz, yeah. Yeah, and um, I love all those tweets about Jaden Hibbert. Big deal, KFC, where are you? I feel like he's the right man for that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I loved? Noah Laz's reaction. What did, what did she When say? he got on the plane. Well, let me see the reaction now. Bring it on. He says, oh yeah, I'll remember this. See you in Paris. Oblique Seville. <laughs> So this is actually what I like about Noah Lyons. He doesn't back down. Yes. I really respect that about him, that he puts himself out there and he says, this is what I'm going to do. Challenge. This is what I'm capable of doing. And in doing that, and a lot of people don't understand this, but I think sometimes if you play sports enough and you have that type of personality, when you do that sort of thing, you're not, you're not just challenging your competitors, yourself. but you're challenging yourself because what it forces you to do is to return to training and not slack off, is yeah. to return to training and be able to do those additional reps. And every time you think that you want to stop, you think about the fact that I told the world that I need, I will do this, and so I cannot afford to stop. And so I, I really respect that about Noah Lies. And, and I, I wish, it. yeah, I wish track and field had more competitors like that. I think the current track and field athletes are, are too nice. I think tennis players are too nice. No, 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 not you. Even boxers these days. He no, said... I'm different. Oh, good. One, well, you heard it here first. He's not nice. He said it. He's different. 
But but let's move along because we, with the time we have, co-host West Indies, they scraped a nervy five-wicket win over Papua New Guinea uh, as the T20 World Cup held its first match in the Caribbean on Sunday. Let's take these tweets. All right, Miss Griffith, she says, wasn't pretty, but we'll take it. That's how I felt. Um, the Office of the Prime Minister of St. Lucia, first point secured, we win. Kadeem, I almost dashed my remote. <laughs> Vijay Rahman, whew, that run chase was a lot more nerve-wracking and anxious than it needed to be. Full respect to Papua New Guinea for giving the West Indies all they could handle. Rally round the West Indies. All right, Mia Amor Mutley, Prime Minister of Barbados. Congratulations to the Windies on winning their opening game in the ICC T20 World Cup. Well done to Ross and Chase on delivering a man of the match performance. <laughs> Was that for me, the raise in the voice? Um, no. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to do it with like a lot of excitement. Okay. You know, one of the things that's extremely important for me when you are in a tournament, it's important that you get battle hardened. Yes. And I think for me, it's a lot better to prove that you can come through some tough situations where you are tested and you're on the back foot and sometimes it doesn't even matter who it is against rather than smashing everybody comfortably and you're not being tested and you're not feeling the pressure of no, the tournament. No, 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 no. I like when the pressure of the tournament is felt early and you can get through it because I think that hardens you for the remainder of the tournament. Not at all. I always say I'm not built for the hard life. I don't want any <laughs> pressure as a matter of fact. You bat, you do well, don't put me under any stress. I'm staying away from that, so I disagree with Ricardo. But on that note, we're going to have to wrap up the show, Lance. Um, I'm wishing you a beautiful evening and, of course, looking forward to the next time West Indies um, play their next match and also looking forward to see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Goodbye for now.